All right, I was originally planning on going through literally every single quest in Escape from Tarkov and kind of putting them on a scale of where they sit based on, you know, oh, it's no biggie versus I'm actively considering Sudoku each time I do this quest. But then I realized that ranking every single quest in Escape from Tarkov would take an exceptional amount of time as well as being extremely boring. So instead, I am just going to go through and list off all the ones that are my least favorite. Um, keep in mind, this is completely opinion based, so you know, your list, you may hate something else that I did not mention. So yeah, we're just gonna work our way down by traders because, you know, I think that's the simplest way to do that. Starting off with everyone's favorite uh, proper. Um, I'm gonna start with Punisher Part 4, mostly due to the fact that you are forced to use a shotgun on woods. Yes, I understand that super performance slugs turn this thing into a pseudo sniper, however it is still exceptionally stupid to me that they thought that a good quest design was to force you to use a weapon that is not at all ideal for range in one of the most open maps in the game. Is it terrible? No, because I think you just have to kill scavs, and there are quite a few scav spawns on woods, which is something that is kind of nice. However, I still don't like the fact that you're forcing me to use a shotgun as a sniper rifle. That's not very fun in my opinion. Um, also, you have to go back to shoreline. I'll, I'm gonna explain my problem with shoreline quests. I absolutely hate them, so I'm gonna be honest. If a quest is on shoreline, it is annoying enough for me to put it on this list. But um, yeah, I don't really care about the scav rig or the uh, the ball clava requirement. I just really hate shoreline and I hate using shotguns in wide open maps where they are not at all really meant to be used. Arguably one of the worst quests in Escape from Tarkov right now is given by Proper, and that is capturing outposts. This quest is the definition of misery. There are people I know who are the most insane players at this game. We're talking level 54, you know, day seven of the wipe. Like those absolute mega chads who have not touched grass in years. And they hate this quest. And I don't, I, I can't say I blame them. The one on customs isn't too bad. You're just killing PMCs in the fortress, which is a point of interest. People are going to go there. That's not a bad spot for this. Woods is a little bit worse, but I still think that the um, the military camp, which I'm pretty sure is where it's at, um, you can still attract enough interest. While you may not get one kill every raid, you're not doing 100 raids before you finally get your 15th PMC kill. Then there's Shoreline. You have to camp the pier. The only way I've really seen people do this is with airdrops or baiting people in with gunfire. The problem with that is half the time people won't even come onto the pier to fight you. They'll just chill up in the woods. Ne oh, look. Okay. <laughs> the moment you peek out from the building and you step onto the pier, you're gonna get sniped because somebody wanted to shoot or born or somebody is just camping the hill. The other issue is that there's no real good extract there because pier boat is only there half the time. It's a 30 second extract for some reason. I don't know how long it takes you to, you know, chuck a bag onto a boat and dive in, but you know, apparently it's 30 seconds for our PMCs. And also, you have to run along this incredibly rigid line to get to that extract. So the pier is just kind of a crap place to be. Worst of all, when most players are going to have reached this quest and are trying to do it, there's no reason for anyone else to really go onto the pier. Earlier, it kind of makes sense because everyone has to do anesthesia and rigged game and colleagues and, um, yeah, they have, they have a reason to go there. There's, you're gonna find people on the pier. Later in the wipe, when everyone else has to go do this, you're not gonna find anybody. So it's really just frustrating, annoying. <sighs> I, I really think it's just a, it's just a badly designed quest. Um, Therapist Colleagues Part 3, this is the only real stupid quest in my opinion that comes from Therapist, and the reason it is just incredibly dumb is I do not know of a single person who has actually done this quest, because it's just stupid. Colleagues Part 3 requires you to turn in the green labs access key card and the blue labs access key card. You know, two of the rarest items in Escape from Tarkov. I'm pretty sure blue key card is actually harder to get than the red key card, if that makes any sense. And 
You also have to find two stims, but compared to the cards, those are like nothing. And if you do this quest, you lose 0.1 rep with Jaeger, a person who is exceptionally annoying to get rep with because he's such a picky bastard. It's just, it's a nonsensical quest to me. You have to turn in two of the rarest items and you get two violet key cards, but I'm gonna be honest, I haven't gone labs in a long time, but ever since they nerfed the key card rooms, I'm not sure how worth they are to just constantly run, and I'm pretty sure that green key card would be worth more than violet key card anyways, considering you can get a lot more just loose loot and stims in that room. So honestly, this quest just not, it doesn't make any sense to me. There is no reason to go the therapist route, and if you, it's just bad. Jaeger offers the alternative of just freaking kill Sanitar. It's such an easy quest. And the best part is, is that you don't lose 0.1 rep with him. Instead, you lose 0.02 rep with Therapist, a person who you are going to have a ton of rep with anyways. So, yeah. Dumb quest. On to the pom-pom wearing uh, man himself. We have Skier. Uh, first of all is, um, this quest that I'm not going to say because YouTube demonetization is completely out of hand recently. Um, it's just a dumb quest. You have to go into one of the most popular PvP areas in the game and you have to sit there with your head down and your ass up staring at a pile of trash for 90 seconds. You have to sit there for 90 seconds hoping that a player doesn't come murder you or that a scab doesn't come murder you. And the best part is you're not allowed to kill the scabs. Yeah, the most annoying AI in the game in gaming history in my opinion that just freaking stares you down through bushes and is a guaranteed spawn in the dorms, you're not allowed to kill them. You can't do it. If you do, you fail the quest and if you've already planted the items, huh, go get more. You're doing it again. It's just dumb. You cannot complete this quest as a solo. You have to have a bodyguard. It's just really, really lame in my opinion. The The rest of it I could almost understand, but like, really? You're not allowed to kill scabs? Come on, Tarkov. This quest isn't particularly hard. I just find it to be exceptionally stupid quest design, and that is Friend from the West Part 2. Uh, hand over $6,000. Really? <laughs> That's... I have to hand over $6,000 so I can do more work for you. Fantastic. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Exceptional job. And the final uh, annoying skier quest. Skier's not too bad, but this one is just dumb in my opinion, is rigged game. You literally go to the exact same place you went for anesthesia and colleagues. Why? I understand the in-lore explanation is you're like planting these markers for Skier so that he can find out where proper hides is good or something. It's still dumb. Don't make me go to the exact same location doing something very similar except it's worse this time because instead of me just flicking a switch and dropping the thing and scurrying away, I actually have to sit there like a goblin just hiding this thing in a box of containers. It. It's just dumb, especially for the one up by resort. You gotta sit there. I think it, I think they dropped it to seven seconds. Still annoying, cause you are sitting in one of the most prolific PVP areas, just hoping that somebody doesn't peek out a window and blow your head off. So you know, yeah, not a great quest. Don't make me do the same stupid. Don't make me go to the same stupid location doing something extremely similar, except even worse. That's not a great quest, my man. That's just. That's a sodium factory, come on. Then we have Peacekeeper. Um, yeah, this guy is a close runner-up for the most hated traitor um, by me because he might not freaking eclipse Jaeger, but holy cow, does he come close. Seriously, I really do not like the quests on this. I'm gonna go through some of the worst ones real quick. First, we have Spa Tour Part 1. Again, you are using a shotgun in a map that a shotgun is not at all going to be good in considering 90% of it is open empty space. Then you get up to the resort, you have to find scabs, at least on woods they were merciful and have scabs literally everywhere. On shoreline there are like four places to find scabs. And if they're already dead, well whoop de doo you're out of luck my friend. Seriously, why are there like no scav spawns? Why are there no scav spawns on this map? 
It's annoying. And also, I think it has to be headshots. So you're gonna get up nice and close, my friend, with the shotgun, especially when they're on top of that rock or sprint across this open field where they'll be shooting you the whole time and hope you don't get nailed by a PMC with an SVD in a bush somewhere. Yeah, I really do not like this quest. I hate it a lot. Wet job is annoying to me because you are doing the exact same thing as humanitarian supplies, except this time you get to choose what armor you're gonna wear. Yeah, I really... It's just dumb to me that these quests are so repetitive and redundant. And once again, the scav spawns... This one's slightly less terrible solely because with an M4 you can reach out and poke sniper scavs easier than with a shotgun. It doesn't make it any less annoying to go hunting for scavs on shoreline. Uh, the guide. You have now become a rat, and you will scurry your way through each map, hoping to Nikita that a random PMC, or scav, or scav boss, or rogue, or any of the many other things in this game that want to murder you, just rips a bullet through your skull from 300 yards away. Good luck on labs. Hopefully the cheating situation is not nearly as bad as it used to. I remember trying to do this quest like four wipes ago. Ugh. So yeah, hopefully you don't run into a hacker and hopefully you don't get nailed as you're trying to complete this quest. I suggest you bring friends. As a person who plays mostly solo, I hate this quest. I probably won't even get to it this way. And finally for Peacekeeper, we are just going to say most of Spa Tour, the rest of Wet Job, in Cargo Parts 1 and 3. Peacekeeper ultimately suffers from the redundancy of his quests and most of them being in very similar areas on shoreline. The amount of times you have to go to a similar area to either retrieve something or plant something or look at something, it's just far too many times. It's really annoying. The shoreline itself has issues solely because honestly, if they just cut out the fields and moved everything far closer together, I think it would be a better map. But my problem with it right now is depending on where you spawn will completely dictate how your raids go. With customs, you can at least double back with a reasonable amount of time. Shoreline, if you spawn in any of the areas super far away from the resort, you're going to have a bad day. If you spawn in that blue uh, area along the waterline, I have friends who will straight up just dump all their gear in the ocean and frag themselves. That is how much they hate that spawn. So ultimately, I just hate Shoreline. I hate pretty much every single quest on that map because of redundancy and repetitiveness. So that's where I'm going to leave it. I do not like Shoreline. Ragman doesn't have too many terrible quests. Um, honorable mention for So It Good Part 2 and 3 for being a little dumb because, you know, I don't know if too many well-designed quests that are gonna have you looking up on factory as your friends start spraying your thorax with 9x19 while two other dudes watch, but you know, it's not particularly hard, it's just kinda goofy. Um, that being said, I do not like doing ragman quests, mostly because I despise interchange. Interchange and shoreline are in the running for my least favorite maps, They're, it kinda switches on the day. Interchange does not have a special place in hell. It is the special place in hell, uh, mostly because the lighting is absolutely terrible. I can't see a damn thing. There's always a chance there's some guy chilling in the shadows of a store just waiting for you to walk past. You can't even use night vision at night because the mall is bright during night for whatever reason, but dark during the day. Don't really know how that works. I guess it's just equally terrible. Uh, player scavs spawn in the mall before PMCs can even get in there sometimes. I think that's a little ludicrous. And honestly, with the way Killa is now, you're waiting for Sir Adidas himself to pop out of a hole in the ground and spray you down with two immediate shots from 300 meters. So, you know, I'm not even sure how that's possible considering you're inside a shopping mall, but it's still definitely gonna happen. So yeah, I really do not like interchange. Ragman quests are the most annoying to me for this reason. But, you know, are they are they worse than Peacekeeper? <laughs> Moving on to Mechanic, he doesn't have too many bad quests, but um, there are a few that stand out. Farming Part 4 is an absolutely atrocious uh, quest, in my opinion, solely due to the fact that the reward is not at all worth what you have to do. You have to give him three GPUs, an exceptionally valuable, rare, and expensive barter item. What does he give you in return? A pistol case and a Glock. 
Thank you, sir. I appreciate this so much. Either buff graphics card spawns again, or just make the reward like two bitcoins or something. That would, it, it would even make sense because you're giving him graphics cards and he mined the crypto even though crypto's dying. I don't, I don't know. Something other than a complete loss, please. Um, and then we have Shooter Born in Heaven. This quest was annoying enough, in my opinion, when it was 100 meter headshots. Why was it increased to 125? The amount of headshots I have gotten that are like 106, 108, 114, it, it, it's causing me genuine pain. It is so incredibly depressing to know that, hey, this would have been good enough last wipe, but this time just, <laughs> no. I swear, if there was some big streamer that called this quest easy and Battle State, you know, took that as a personal challenge, I'm gonna be very angry. Why was this done? It, I don't get it. 100 meters just made sense, then they upped it to 125. At this point, just make it the world record for a sniper shot, like one and a half miles, why not? Or I don't know what that is in, I don't know, 2.5 kilometers or something, I don't know. And now we have arrived to the moment you are all waiting for when you clicked on this video. This bastard. Holy crap, so many Jaeger quests are just abysmal. When Battle State itself clowns on how annoying these quests are, you know that it's kind of bad. Uh, Tarkov Shooter Part 8, uh, that one's the one where you have to kill three PMCs on woods with bolt actions, that's not particularly terrible. The problem with this one is Woods is such an open map that very few people actually like to play. So most of the time, you're not gonna be running into three PMCs. And even if you do run into three PMCs, unless you land an instant headshot with your bolt action rifle, which isn't particularly hard, but it's not easy sometimes, if they get hit or even get scared, they're gonna anamorph into a rat and scurry into the woods, never to be seen again. It's not a difficult quest, it's just annoying to have to see three PMCs in one raid on woods, a map where pretty much everyone can blend into anything. So yeah, that one's pretty annoying. Uh, the survivalist path, the, the, the one where you dehydrate yourself, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Um, this one's just dumb. How does he know? How does he know you downed a jar of mayo, sat in a bush for five minutes, waited until you had correctly timed yourself out to five minutes, and then took a sip of water? Uh, how does he know? This makes no sense to me, and I think it's a stupid quest. Uh, Huntsman Path Justice. Why the ever-loving heck does the quest to kill Rashala's guards come after the quest to kill Rashala? I think it used to be better, I'm pretty sure other scavs would wear the police uniform sometimes so you could at least just kill regular scavs and get this quest done, but I think they might have changed that considering I haven't seen a police uniform um, scav in a long time that isn't a Rashala guard. So yeah, why does it come after the quest to kill Rashala? That's just, is dumb, it's really dumb. Huntsman Path Eraser Part 1. <laughs> oh, I hate Gluhar so much. Yep, that one's just annoying. Uh, Stray Dogs. Oh, God. This one is terrible. For whatever reason, as a person who does not like to run Lighthouse that often, my duo partner, and I, I, I know, I'm not even trying to get this quest done, but my friend who is trying to get this quest done is having a hell of a time because he has killed Knight, he has killed Big Pipe, he only needs to kill Bird Eye, but they either do not spawn, murder you immediately with two shots to the chest because, you know, they are the offspring of an SAS operator, a Delta operator, and then that child proceeded to be turned into a space marine before mating with a Terminator. That's a beautiful image in your head, but that's what these guys are. Holy crap, are they just the most freaking annoying pieces of crap sometimes. And other times, they're completely brain dead and then one of them gets killed by some random Timmy with an MP133 and all of a sudden we can't complete the quest that that raid because one of the, the one guy we needed, Bird Eye, just got shot by Magnum Buck to the jaw by some dude who's level 12. 
Oh, I hate this quest. It is pain. It is suffering. Maybe you got it done early. Maybe you didn't. Screw this quest. All right, uh, that is going to do for my unhinged rant about Tarkov's quests. Uh, thank you so much for watching, especially all the way to the end. I hope this... Um, I hope me delving into the reaches of insanity was at least entertaining for you to watch. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the video about the Tarkov Mega Sweats, uh, it's going to be a Tarkov Geographic video. It should be coming out next week, assuming all goes well and my house isn't hit by like an asteroid or something. Um, or a meteor, I think is the proper term. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Half the time, people won't even come on to the pier to fight you. They'll just chill up in the woods. Oh, look. Oh, uh, they'll just chill in the woods looking over the pier. And the moment you, you pee... I'm suffering a stroke. The moment you peek outside of the building or onto the pier, you get sniped by... You,